Well, the first piece that I ever wrote for a jazz band, jazz orchestra, and symphonic orchestra was commissioned by Kurt Mazur with the New York Philharmonic. And he would always tease me, talking about I was afraid to do it. And I had no intention of, of, of ever writing for a classical orchestra. I didn't study composition. I really learned as I went along how to write for, for a jazz orchestra. And uh, through the 90s, I started to work on, maybe I could work on orchestration, or maybe I could find a music that we could play together. Maybe every time I see him walking on the street, he say, are you still scared to write for the New York Philharmonic? Are you still afraid of the New York Philharmonic? I got tired of hearing that. I said, okay, I'm not afraid to write for the New York Philharmonic. Let me try. And I wrote that piece, uh, All Rise, it was called. We played it around the turn of the, the 2000, going into 2000. And we played that piece in many places, many orchestras. We, we played it. Um, and I had a chance to, to, to hear it. And, and of course, I, I grew up playing, playing classical music and listening to it. So I love the music and I love the, the sound of the symphonic orchestra. So this piece is just an extension of that, of that piece and another piece that I wrote for the Atlanta Symphony, just trying to develop a vocabulary of things that we can do together and things that also deal with uh, the aspects of American music that are developmental and that, that actually relate to American life and our way of doing things in terms of improvisation and the blues and swing, all those things that really bring us together as a country. That's what I'm trying to do with this piece. In the Swing Symphony, the orchestra and the jazz band work together. The jazz band is not like the soloist for the, for the orchestra. We all play together. Swing and in jazz, we have three fundamental concepts. One is the blues, which is an attitude toward life. And that is stuff is bad out here, but we can always catch a groove. And the improvisation, which is the ego part of it, which is you can make up what you want based on whatever the, the form, the outlay of the form is. So you have the freedom to improvise and to do your thing. And to, but, the, but to balance that, there's a concept of swing. And swing means that you try to find an equilibrium with other people. So that means you're not going to solo too long. You're going to play in a register that will not cover a clarinet. The drums won't be louder than the bass. You, it's a self-imposed equilibrium. And it is, it is a a concept that requires humility, empathetic listening, and a, a, a desire, indeed an embracing of other people and their feeling and their creativity and their ideas. So I call it the Swing Symphony, so that when I'm writing it, it's always about how we come together. And the conclusions of all of these movements are us coming together and us playing together and making a, a, a unified statement.